All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Welcome to Thinking Biblically. This is uh, the 21st day of December in the year of our Lord, 2023. Yes, this will be the winter solstice, too. For the pagans, it was the 25th of December because that was the first day that it, the, uh, the, the daylight becomes noticeably longer. So you're, we're dealing with the, the pagan celebration was the... Um, the beginning of the sun to conquer the evil forces of darkness and winter. Let there be light. I guess that really is an appropriate uh, date for Christ, too. We, we don't know the actual birth date, but it is. It's come to think of it. You know, this uh, God says, commands, let all the angels worship him. Do you think same, uh, Satan and the fallen angels had to also bow down and worship the babe in the manger? Hmm. That's a delightful thought. And speaking of delightful thoughts about Satan, well, uh, you obviously, I'm sure, have heard of this. Des Moines Register, uh, the uh, the statue of the the idol of Satan in the state house there. This is a rather, was this a Christmas present? Huh? You know, I have a bet. You know, it, it says here, the uh, Satanic Temple of Iowa <laughs> says a statue depicting the pagan idol uh, Bethlehemet, uh, part of its controversial display in the I Iowa capital. You know, the scripture says uh, the enemies of God, their own weapons will pierce them through. I find this very uh, uh, humorous. Uh, God mocking Satan. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a few minutes here. So the idol had been destroyed. This morning we were informed by authorities that the Bethlehem statue in our holiday display was destroyed beyond repair, the group said in a Thursday statement posted on Facebook. Former Mississippi congressman, a congressional candidate, a former Mississippian congressional candidate uh, charged with vandalizing uh, the satanic temple display at Iowa State, Iowa Capitol. It did not indicate whether the vandal or vandals had been identified. Capitol security could not be reached for comment late Thursday. Uh, the installation permitted under the state rules governing religious displays in the building has come under debate and criticism by Iowa and national politicians. Uh, presidential hopeful Ron DeSantis on Tuesday joined a chorus of Republicans calling for the removal, while others in the GOP said that, though it is offensive, it is protected by free speech. Despite, despite, the, uh, despite the destruction of the robed figure of Bethlehem holding a ribbon bedecked pentacle, pentag uh, pentangle pentagram, a pentangle and topped with a gilded ram's head Looked like aluminum foil to me. <laughs> the Satanic Temple on Facebook um, that the remainder of the display, the remainder of the display, a small altar displaying the temple's seal and the seven tenets of Satanism, would remain for now. We are proud that our con that to continue our holiday display for the next few days that have been allotted. It said and cautioned visitors to it to travel together and to use the seven tenets as a reminder for empathy in the knowledge that justice is being pursued in the correct way through legal means. The message concluded, Happy Holidays, Hail Satan. <laughs> I find this so funny. 
Uh, some people don't, but I do. And the reason being, it occurred to me. Let, let me read a scripture for you, a portion of scripture from Isaiah chapter 14. Now we have in Isaiah, oops, wrong thing there. We have in Isaiah a text that seems to, it's sort of directed to the king of Babylon and about the destruction of the city of Babylon, but it also has parallels in the book of Revelation. And we have this section here that's, that's, that maybe is addressing the true king of Babylon, which, who is the head of the kingdoms of this world, according to Scripture? Satan is. He is the, the, the god, small g, of this age. Uh, he said to Jesus when he, in, the, in the temptation of Christ that uh, showed him all the kingdoms of the world in an instant and said, if you will bow down to me, these have all been handed over to me, and I can give them to whoever I want, and if you will bow down and worship me, I will give them to you. And Jesus' response was, be gone. Uh, the Lord, uh, only the Lord shall you serve. To him alone is worship and service due. So in Isaiah chapter 14, starting at verse 12, how you are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer. Lucifer means light bearer. Lucifer, son of the morning. How you are cut down to the ground, you who weakened the nations. For you said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the farthest sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Uh, sounds like a little pride got a hold of him. But you shall be cut down to Sheol, the abode of the dead, to the lowest depths of the pit. Now, what do we see in the book of Revelation? Uh, at the beginning of the Millennium Kingdom, Satan is grabbed, the dragon, the ancient serpent, Satan, is grabbed by Michael and chained up and cast into the bottomless pit where he is to remain for a thousand years. Then he'll be loosed for a season to test the inhabitants of the earth, and then uh, he will be cast into the lake of fire. And so God is using him. <laughs> You, Satan, you are being used. Da 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 da. Uh, those who will see you will gaze at you and consider you, saying, Is this the man who made the earth to tremble? Who shook kingdoms? who made the world as a wilderness and destroyed its city, who did not open the house of his prisoners, all the kings of the nations, all of them sleep in glory, everyone in his own house, but you are cast out of the grave like an abominable branch, like the garment of those who are slain, thrust through with a sword, and who go down to the stones of the pit, like a corpse trodden under foot. Huh. So, let me point out something. The man who did this thing would have been better, it would have been better if he had simply put a placard around the idol that read, how you are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. <laughs> you are cut down to the ground, you who weaken the nations. Now, this is supposed to be Bethlehem. So let's go take a look at Bethlehem. Uh, by the way, if you uh, Masonic lodges um, and other things have like the pentagram and symbols that are related to this and sometimes have a goat head too. Their sign out in front of the thing. So this is supposed to be Bethel Met. Right here. Uh, let's see here. Is there anything interesting? Yeah. So this this is Bethel Met. 
It says here, Bethlehem is a deity of uh, which the Knights Templar were accused of worshiping uh, that subsequently became incorporated into various occult in, uh, cult in Western esoteric traditions, you know, like the, the Masonic lodges uh, and others. Definitely this is why they picked this. The name Bethlehem appears in trial transcripts uh, from the Inquisition of the Knights Templar starting in uh, 1307. Uh, it first came into popular English usage in the 19th century during the debate and speculation uh, for, on the reasons for the suppression of the Templar order. Bethlehem is a symbol of balance in the various occult and mystical traditions, the origin of which uh, some occultists have attempted to link with the Gnostics and Templars, though occasionally purported uh, to be a, de a deity or a demon. In 19, 1856, the name Bethlehem was uh, has been associated since 1856 with the uh, Sabbatic goat image drawn by Eliphas uh, uh, Levi, composed of binary elements representing symbolization of equilibrium opposites, half human, half animal, male and female, good and evil. Well. <laughs> That's hardly equilibrium in the kingdom of God. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, so let's see here. Can I? Let's take a closer look at good old Beth here. Uh, okay. All right. Boop. Come on, come on. Why can't I enlarge that? Uh, Okay, you notice here there's a little problem with <sighs> um, what does that say? I cannot read. I believe that's that's Latin. Uh, is it salve? Is that like to save and what's the other? C O A G something or other A. Is that like damn up or down? So you got the symbol of, of medicine there. You've got uh, uh, goat feet and uh, uh, two breasts and a hairy chest and a couple of wings and a pentagram on his forehead. I mean, so if, if this is supposed to be an image of Lucifer, the, the great majestic. Archangel, the super archangel that was apparently deceived by his own beauty. I think, I think this is mocking the devil. So how how you have fallen, O oh mighty one. Look at you now. A deformed goat that's gender confused. Yikes. This does not honor Satan. It mocks him. Don't you think? How would you like to be imaged like this? <laughs> I, th I think he's fallen <laughs> quite a bit. And his idol shows it. Yikes. Well, at least this one, they did it up a little bit Christmassy, but it looks a little fragile to me. So the goat had in some sort of metal... Uh, Metallicized plastic, it looks like, uh, squares. And then you have a fake flower thing with a pentagram. So so is he doing worship? This is the Christmas display. This is the Christmas display. Hebrews 1 6. Speaking of Christ, he says, but when he brings, uh, when he br again brings the firstborn into the world, he says, let all the angels of God worship him. Well, Satan was created an angel of God, right? So is God mocking him again? Here, by forcing Satan 
his people to put up their idol in a Christmas display? <laughs> Just to remind the devil of what God has done to him already. You know, with that babe in the manger, that was your doom, Satan. And now your followers are putting you up next to a Christmas display just to remind everyone how ugly and fallen you are while well, everybody considers Christ the gift of God that saves the sinners and delivers them from your bondage. Har, 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 har. Oh, what a sense of irony. Forcing the image of Bethlehem to sit next to a display honoring the birth of the Messiah, the Son of God, who came to set sinners free from the bondage of Satan. I think that's a hoot. As I said, the, the guy should have just put a put a, a, a placard on him saying, how art thou, how art thou fallen? Some, some majestic beauty here. Gender confused majestic beauty. I would think Satan be a little angry with that myself, but. Yeah, God and his providence mocking the devil. This is almost better than Job. You know, I didn't really understand Job until just recently. I haven't read it recently because I don't want to read it. I was thinking about it, though, because I made the mistake of preaching through it at a nursing home. That was a bad mistake. But I was thinking, uh, I was thinking, because God says in there, uh, Satan, to the devil, he says, you deceived me. You tricked me into doing this to my servant Job. I don't think God was being serious here. I think he was mocking. I finally realized that. He was mocking the devil because he overcame the devil. With, who won the, the chess game using Job as a pawn? God did. God did. He defeated Satan. Satan said, I can, you know, the only reason he follows you and, and worships you is because you protect him and you give him everything. Uh, if, if you let me take that stuff away, he'll, he'll curse you. <laughs> and so God says, oh, go ahead. We'll see. Poor Job, though. I, I don't think I'd want to be in the center of that game. Uh, but God did repay uh, multifold, but still, it would have been rather you know, losing your children and, and having a wife that torments you is like, oh, Lord. Uh, a little rough on Job, I think. But nevertheless, uh, yeah. That was that was, I, I didn't realize until I was thinking about that. Yeah, God was God was messing with Job. I mean, God was messing with Satan. Have you considered my servant? He started it. God started it. Have you considered my servant Job? How faithful he is. Sounds like a setup to me. And. And having this, this is this is just the greatest Christmas present of all, forcing the idol of Satan, Bethlehem, the gender confused pentagram clad, made out of uh, tissue paper and plastic for for a goat head, forcing him to 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 stand there and observe the commemoration of God sending his son, the Savior, who would crush. God had promised that, that Satan would, you will bruise his heel, but he will crush your head. Just to remind Satan of that. Yep, he's in the world, and he's in heaven now, and he's coming again. And I've got that pit all ready for you. You're going to be there a thousand years, chained up. And people are going to be looking at you and saying, are you the one? You? You're weaker than us now. <laughs> All right. God has a sense of humor, and it has to do with his justice, too. A sense of justice. <sighs> Satan mocked God, and now God's repaying. Uh -hmm. Yep. I love it. I love it. I think, uh, yeah, just leave that stuff up. I mean, it's so ugly. 
that this is, you know, why should we be concerned about t- Satan depicted like this? We should just point out to them what, what the Scripture says. That's all we should do. Just point out to them exactly what the Scripture says. Oh, I guess I put that. No. Yeah, well, that all the angels worship him. Yeah, that's it. So the 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 uh, Bethlehemet is there from the Satanic uh, temple, worshiping the the newborn Christ. Let all the angels worship him. <laughs> oh, God is really sticking it to Satan this Christmas. Oh yeah, uh, it's only begun. So. We don't have to tear those things down. Just use them for what they are, the mocking the devil. Anybody that worships that. But in order to worship that, too, that's part of a Christmas display. They have to see Christ in a manger. He's got to be there. You know that. So and the devil's standing there with a stupid look on his face with a goat head made out of tissue paper. Why take it down? It, it Maybe it was Satan that inspired that guy to tear his thing down because it was really not making him look very good there. <laughs> well, I just thought somebody might enjoy that. I certainly do.